Kevin Catalyst Traders is for educational purposes only. You must consult a financial advisor before deploying real assets of any kind. Everything discussed or mentioned here are just my thoughts and ideas. After you consult a financial advisor, you must trade your plan within your means. To recreate, let's get that off the chart, recreate the price action that we had uh, yesterday which was Friday. So basically we're going to cover the SPY and I actually trade the SPX as well right off of the SPY chart. So every time I would take an entry on the SPY, I'm taking an entry on the SPX. I'm trading it exactly the same off of this chart. I don't even look at the SPX chart. So we're going to talk about those today. What we knew in pre-market, you know, we had the prior week, we know market was full of FOMO coming up. Uh, we knew there was a tough spot up here that needed to be taken out. We also realized we're uh, witnessing the birth of a new trend as we speak, so we need to give it a little bit of time. Pal come out was pretty hawkish, and that pulled us back. Now, in pre-market, we go to the five-minute chart because we knew this in pre-market. We'll go to the five-minute chart here, and you can see they were ramping the market up into market open. So using a blended candle method, we get a, a bullish candle pattern out of that. Uh, but since the market had gapped up, you know, we're always looking for at least a candle or two pull in before, you know, that hopefully the dip buyers continue to keep coming back in and thumbing the market up. Um, we did, we had that tough area there. We were able to get back through it fairly easy. So that was a good sign. Market is, is bullish here. And it was a great seeing them come in and buy this up after the because there was no uh, no love after Powell speaking. You know, we pulled back, we held, just chopped around down there to the end of the day, uh, chopped around overnight, stayed pretty flat. Now we were able to push up in free market. You know, they started dip buyers come in. That that was great, a great sign. So let's go to the one minute time frame here. And let's look at our open. We have right before market open and pre-market, we had this huge candle waiting on market to open. Very bullish candle, but they had, you know, the, the bears did come back in. And by the way, you know, a lot of traders are spending way too much time on Twitter and places like that arguing whether they want to be a bull or a bear or what time they're, you know, what they are. The fact is you, you should be a both. You should be on both sides of the market trying to trade both sides um, and, you know, locking in them gains and taking advantage of those opportunities. So we got this really nice push up in our first candle. Now at market open, we're expecting a, a pullback only because we gapped up and this time the last couple of times it hadn't worked so well but this time we had got it the last two times we had gapped up we couldn't get that up can or that down candle you know they just opened up and went straight up this time we did get a nice down candle now at market open we had about 90 percent bearish flow come in but we had some mixed signals here the the breath had went from about a negative 1300 shot clean up to a positive 1250 and that was a huge move so that was kind of letting us know the market wanted to pull in seeing the the, the you know the profit takers co coming in but letting us know that you know the, the buyers were there and there was possibilities for a reversal but we had to see the proper signals for that so that's your first one minute candle and you can see you got second candle little bullish rami and then this candle right here breaking down lower you can also see the strength in your your bollinger bands a lot of people don't realize this but when if you watch your bollinger bands and everything that we say you can you can observe on your own chart because where it all comes from it's from you know watching charts all day and evaluating the price action that we're seeing and I've, you know i have traded tens of thousands of patterns and, and traded tens of thousands of trades off many different setups so you know some of the stuff we're talking about seriously you may think it sounds a little silly but i promise you watch your bands in this case bands open up in both directions which give us a, a good idea that we were getting getting a decent move to the downside now it's still a trend so eventually you're still going to see the trend change so we got a falling one that confirmed with another falling one, which formed a smaller falling one. This falling one is one of our patterns that we watch for, and they're very good at giving follow through on these candles. Scalpers dream here. And that right there was a beautiful wick play. Beautiful. So a wick is when when you get a wick play, it's it's trading. This is not perfect. It should the whole candle should trade within the previous body's wick. These these are the ones I actually prefer. This candle opened up and went green, went in search of a moving average, and then come back snap red. Uh, that was a easy money trade right there for scalpers. Um, I'm going to turn this five off on the five right now, uh, or the five moving average off because we're not looking at the five minute chart right now. 
see what our next candle gives us. We're getting a little extended here, and we get a strong pin bar. Uh, you could say bearish. Uh, it's not even a piercing line. So it's basically just a strong pin bar. It's actually got a lot of strength in this candle. Look at the size of that. You can see the size of the wick where the, the sellers come in and, and took it down. But the buyers were able to come back in and move this candle up. Now, one side is this candle actually gapped up from that, from that candle to this candle gapped up. So it was giving you an idea that it wanted to go higher. But, of course, that changed when the sellers come in and was trying to take this lower. But by seeing the buyers bring that candle back up and close, I liked it where it closed above that candle right there. I would like to have better if it would have closed above both of those candles and cleared that candle line. It didn't. So we want to see what this next candle gives us. We are looking strong candle. We're looking for follow through up to at least a nine. See how we handle the nine. If we clear it, then we're looking for a move higher. Next candle. All right. So this candle right here shot up. And, and we, you could actually see it pull back red first before shooting up. And, uh, you know, once again, candle pulling back red gives me time to actually get into my trade. It cleared that 9, pushing higher, was able to go up above the 20, but it did pull back. So our next candle, we're still looking great here. We want to start seeing the 9 turn up. One thing that we are seeing is the Bollinger Bands changing character. So that's a good sign. It does not mean that it won't come back down, but it just means it's a, it's a good chance that that, that, pot, that move right there is over. That down move right there is over. It still can possibly give a bear flag and come back lower, but that move is over. MACD is also changing character, so we're expecting more upside here at this point. This is the target. We're looking to take that range high out. So we're looking for a push up to your range high right here. Good candle, good candle. And really pushing here to get up there. We're getting a little extended, so not surprised it wanted to come back in in search of the moving average. But right there, we got to close above very strong uh, candle right there. Now, once again, this does not mean that we, you know, have to get follow through. The one thing, and I've been talking about this, when we get these strong candles, your next candle here lately has been red. So we're expecting a red candle to come in. And that's going to let the moving average catch up some. All right, so now we still, still, I personally, since I got a bearish Rami, I would like to come back to the nine, give me room to move on the Bollinger Band setting up. So we're trying to set up for a flag play here. Talk about this particular flag. As always, it's always about the next candle. It's about the candle that's trading right now, the next candle, and the previous candle. In this case, two candles ago, we had a strong bullish engulfing candle. These two candles had traded within that range. That makes this candle very important. Starting to look like a contraction area, so we need to be aware. I'm not looking to trade a regular flag. In this case, I need a breakout to look like a H-buy pattern that gets confirmed before. I am even considering another long trade here. Or a short trade. This candle range has to be cleared. It still, it's still a flag, still pulling back into prevailing trend. But as of right now, it's looking like a contraction, looking like we're trying to contract here. That's worth noting. Uh, you can get big moves off contraction patterns, contraction, expansion, trend, but you got to give them time to work. Starting to look like an H buy pattern here, but I need a candle to close up above this candle range to start that stair step higher. Without that, no trade. And remember. These work, what we're talking about here, works on all time frames. Next candle, still no close above, still trading within the range of this candle, but we are breaking back below the nine. At this point, I know a lot of people, you know, wait longer, but I'm already going to extend a trend line out here. Uh, one thing that the market's been doing, I'm not getting greedy, I'm staying off my candle line. I'm going to stay on that wick right there. One thing the market's been doing, it's been forming these flags, pulling back in, giving us this little goose head structure, then coming back and taking out that level. So we're still watching for a possible break up there, or, you know, we don't go long until we break up above there unless we're trading within the range. If we get down here, we can look for a trade back up to that trend line, but we're not looking to trade over that trend line until that trend line is broken. Um, but that is an area, or should say a level of interest. We can look to take trades off of that area. See what we get here. Still trading within that candle range. This candle right here clearing below. That's a good sign. 
letting us know that we possibly may go lower here. Still want to keep a close eye on the moving averages themselves. We're starting to lose this MACD, changing character. Still want to keep a close eye on his moving averages for the goosehead formation throughout. But right now, we got to close below outside of that contraction pattern. And for me, I'm just a little conservative. I would want to be below this candle uh, open right here. And we, we got that. So we're looking for some more downside. Uh, still got the 20 and 50 down there. Next candle was able to get nice follow through on that. This candle opened up, pulled back into the nine. This is a perfect trade here. You know, come back in and search the nine, retest candles. You know, it's red or it's green up here and it pulls back. When this candle turns red, in this case broke below that wick, sometimes I'll take, they'll turn red when you break below the candle body. But because this actually gapped down before going higher, you know, this would have given a really nice trade to the downside. Uh, just when the candle's green comes back, turns red, nice scalp, very nice scalp. So we are breaking down here. Our target is this area here. We're starting to to lose. Well, shouldn't say that. The target's not here yet until we break this 20. We break below this 20. This is going to be our target. Now, remember, price action, the reason why I don't stay in the trades personally and wait to the target, I look for more opportunities. Uh, sometimes price action likes to take the back route, and it can take a considerable amount of time to get to the target. And sometimes within the, the waves of the price action on this way to the target can provide many more opportunities by moving in and out of them. So that's personally how I trade. You don't have to. You can definitely wait for your targets. And remember, everything that we talk about here is for educational purposes only. It's for you to paper trade with. Please consult a financial advisor before deploying any real assets into the market. Let's see what we get here. A strong up candle coming back testing the nine so it's a whole change in plans if we if we take this nine back we're bullish below this this 20 and 50 then we're going to look to be bearish um, but we can take this nine back and still take that trend line out or we could get rejected off that trend line back below this area i'm bearish for a move down to the range low i got to get to close below that and it won't hurt my feelings to be below that wick looking for that move down but below that 50 and 20 there. Testing the level. You can see the goose head forming there, but still below that level. Cannot go long until you get a candle to close above that line. Even if it gaps up, it's not a close. It can gap up over that level, but it still has to close. Got to have the candle to close for confirmation. Trying to break back down here. Still getting rejection and boom. Nice trade broke down below so at this point we got to close targets down here it does not necessarily mean we're going to go straight down there always keep that in mind sometimes you can take the back route on the way to the target so a little bit of green trying to come into here uh, right now we still have our target down here and this is what i'm talking about sometimes that you know instead of just getting in here and then sitting in pain if you wait for the proper setup the nine's on its way down. Possible bear flag. Still under that 50. 50 still resistance. Pushing up. So still got our trend line up here. Maybe possible another trade off that trend line. Just have to be patient here. Candle did close strong and boom. Acted like a big bear flag. Now we did come down pretty low, but we have not hit the target yet. Price has memory, and it's going to want to get to that candle line. Now, provide some really good opportunities to get there sometimes. This closed with a, a, a small falling three. This, I wish this candle would have closed stronger. It's a pretty big deal seeing them buyers come back in after that candle. But we did get to close below, so we are still expecting to get down to our target. So let's see how we handle this here. Nice down candle, strong down candle. Another strong down candle, still not quite down to the candle line yet. So remember, we got to get, we're looking to get down to the candle line, but we have to be below the candle line and take that range low out before we're expecting to go lower. We're looking, just looking for a double bottom type move down here, but price has memory and it likes to come back. But once again, remember, it doesn't have to be a straight road to your target. Sometimes price likes to take the back road. And that's what this did. It paused uh, a little bit. And that could have been a little scary for some people. But after this close here, you know, we were that was the target for me looking for the flag and then trying to find my entry on some kind of retest of the moving average play. That's where I'm looking to get in that. This is where you can serve the trader. Everybody wants to chase this. This is where you can serve your traders looking at her. And then breaking down here, another nice move down, 
of seeing a little bit of bullishness come in here, seeing some bearishness come in, trying to set up for a little bear flag. Maybe we need to see what we do. At this point, we just need to be patient and wait for the setup. See if we can get some kind of little bear flag. In this case, rolling over for a, a H sell pattern needs to be confirmed. The price target has been hit here. So we're not looking to go below this price target until that range low has been taken out. Now, a, a candle can wick down and reset and give me a new low of the day, and I'm good with that. But until that range low has been taken out, I'm not interested in taking a trade here. I need a candle at least, at least get a candle to close below the previous candle line to be bearish here. Uh, so for me, this is just coming down here, uh, retesting. I was already able to get a trade, possibly two trades off of this. And I actually took two trades off of that. I believe I traded both those candles, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, back down and retesting that range low. I'll go through so much, so I'm not exactly if I, sure if I did trade. I did get one of those, though. Um, but I do like going back in with the same strike, getting right back in, making money. A lot of times you're right around the same entry and you get right back out the same exit. Just double the trade, two minutes, you know, two trades. And I know a lot of people think that, you know, it's impossible, but it's not. It's really not. Uh, the way we trade is different. The whole, you know, our whole mindset's different. And that's what's important. You know, discipline's the key. And that's what it's about for us. It's about coming in here and making money and not about hitting targets. Uh, just we look at the, everything a little bit differently. Discipline's the key. It's it's you know everybody thinks strategies and and uh, you know magical indicator and all that. You know it's price action, sticking with a set of rules and being disciplined. That that's all it is. Self control, waiting to take the trade at the right moment. So let's see what we get down here. Little flag trying to break out to an H cell pattern, still trying to go lower, and that's a change in character right there. Now pushing back up right now, this nine still angled down, still looks like it's possible drowning goose setting up, but definitely a nice momentum. I'll take that as a tower bottom. It is not perfect, you know, but that that's good enough for me. Um, definitely some bullishness there. Let's see what we can get here. We want to see the nine turning up. That's just that should have mentioned that first. We want to see that nine turning up. We plan on holding that. So this is breaking back down, trying to look like a, a evening star here. This needs to confirm. I would prefer to be below this area for me. I, I need to take out the range low. But there could be a price has memory type trade in there down to that range low. Let's see what our next candle gives us. Bands are already suggesting more downside, so that would have made a nice trade. Very double bottomish down here now. So right now the evening star has been confirmed. Can we get more downside off from it? We'll see. We know that's a pretty heavy level down here. Coming down here to the 200, playing on the 200. Band's still trying to suggest more downside, but we just took the nine back, nine turning up. That's a different look right there. Use a blended candle method. You could consider that a morning star. Don't really need to need to know that. Um, really just need to see that as what you know is important here. Uh, you're definitely trading like we, like it's finding a bottom. So for me, if I can get back up above this candle line, preferably that, but you can start to see a small W pattern being put in here. So we're looking for confirmation of a W possible double bottom. And at this point, I do want to extend this trend line back you know, out farther because we were respected it right now that is a level of interest and that is a target uh, look place to build a plan to look for rejections to look for breakouts uh the w trying to confirm there but no confirmation nice push up into that area nine still trying to turn up and close back below a little choppy in this area at this point we needed we already made up our mind we needed to be up above here where the candle close or we need to be down here where the candle close and we want to be below this 200 since it's right there Let's see what we get and drowning goose trying to set up close right at the 200 Candle. That candle closed below the 200 with a quick reversal back out of nowhere. Nowhere. Some very tough action here. Um, we're starting to get a downtrend through this area now. So we want to keep an eye on something like this. Uh, and if we can get a break of something like that, maybe we can see a pop up into that level. 
it's a possibility, but that level is still an area of interest that is on watch. But if we can take this level out, we can start to look for a trade in that trading range possibly. But we need a candle to close above the bottom trend line before we even think about going bullish. The 9 is trying to turn up and the MACD is trying to change character. What's the next candle going to do? No close. We did get the close above, so now we're looking for a move up to this trend line. Watch the 50 on the way up, but we're looking for a move up to the trend line. It's tradable up to that trend line. We're not looking to trade above that trend line until price moves above that trend line. So it's a two trade setup. Your conservative trader wants to wait till he gets above that trend line. Your scalpers, there's scalp opportunities in here or a quick trade opportunities in here for a move up. Then we're looking for a, a larger move up here. So we are in an overall downtrend. We just did put in a new low. So we could be pushing up to, to put in a new high and see where and end up moving lower. Like I say, overall, we are in a downtrend here. So this could be just pushing up to start up to put in a new high, just put in a new low, maybe looking to put in a new high and move lower. So we need to be aware we're set up. Green in the MACD, MACD crossing, bullish engulfing, seeing some follow through, nine turned up. We're looking for a trade up to that level and that level only. Can we get follow through? Nice push so far. We want to see that band open up if we're going, going to go higher. And there we go. We're right at our trend line. We have to get a candle above this trend line at this point to go higher. If we don't, you know, we could easily get rejected. If we don't get a candle to close, not gap up and just open, but we need still need a candle to close. Candle close, we're looking for a move back up to the range high. No trade if no candle closes. Let's see what the next candle gives us. So far, no trade. 920 trying to come higher. So we got a bearish Rami. Breaking lower. Not a good sign there. Uh, right here we have what's called a falling one with a close below. Watching that, that trend line for moving the 200 on the way back down. So we put in a new high, seeing rejected. At this point, we're looking to go back down and match the low. Looking for when you get a, a you know, put in a new high. Got lower low with a new high. So we need to see what we do here. Are we putting in a, a higher low? Or a, a lower low. Uh, overall, we were in a downtrend. Is this trying to change the trend? Like I say, overall, we're in a downtrend. Where this low is put in is very important. We clear this low. So we could easily get a move back down to a double bottom. Price has memory. Or we could move lower. We do have that old trend line in the way. Which we're going to go ahead and take that out now. Oh, we're watching a 200. Where's this low? Right now, we look pretty bearish. A candle actually gapped down and tried to move lower, holding at 200 for support. So overall, we're in a downtrend, so we could easily put in a new low. So where are we heading? We need to see where this low will be at. You can see the bands opening up in both directions. Struggling here, trying to go lower, but struggling right there got this little tower bottom action with a big rejection so this candle signaling where we should be trying to move lower that's actually a, a candle pattern called a falling four there um, we did get confirmation band still suggesting more downside didn't get that much of a close and we're still down here on these range lows so we've not taken out that range low yet so there's still no trade to be had there now, we still haven't got a close below the range low, so we're looking for something to take this range low out. If we can get a candle to, to, to move below that range low, I would look for a scalp to the downside. Still suggesting more downside. There we go. Got it. Now, what will the next candle be? We did get a pattern that's called a falling one, so now we need to confirm this pattern. That was a tradable move to the downside. This candle come back and was was green when this candle moved below these wicks it was definitely scalpable to the downside got to be quick on that one but it was my uh famous trade where the the, the candle switch colors so in this case it was, was opened up turned green then come back flashed red and when it turned red i would have been in that trade i didn't i didn't take that trade i don't think this next candle actually opens up, goes back and retests. So far, still a good sign for possible move lower. Uh, the 9 looks good to the downside. MACD is still looking decent there. What's your next candle going to do? 
Still no close below this candle, so no confirmation of the falling uh, one yet. No confirmation of the falling one, still chopping around here, still trading, contracting within the, the range of that pattern. And this one shooting higher, breaking the range of the contraction. So this, these three candles were contracting within that candle's range, seeing a big, large green candle come in, bullish candle. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense here yet. Strong push up. You know, at this point, we need to see a candle get above these candles. So let's see what we get on the very next candle. And right back down. So we're seeing, still seeing lower lows put in. Will we move lower? Uh, we did push up and barely, just barely, looks more double toppers to me. That's matching highs. That's that's ultimately bearish when you're getting matching highs. It's just like a double top. And this MACD is setting up as a drowning goose. Right now, it does look like it's wanting to go lower. And we have seen a series of lower lows. We need to break below this candle. That's still the candle that's in play. And you can see that candle right there did provide a move down. Coming back quickly, retesting. It can be some really, really tough action to trade in this area. Um, the Bollinger Bands are still suggesting downside there, but they just turned up. So seeing them bands turn up tell me that the initial down move is over there. It needs to reset up. It's over. We're not looking for anything else uh, to the downside until we see something else reset up. Nine, try and change character trying to change character and it's finally starting to go higher here so let's get back kind of rush through that but with that band change character all that was out out of play there to me so now we're seeing them open up again open up in both directions and we are getting a trend break uh, so we're getting a really long in this video so we're gonna have to cut this one short so you know wanting to get to this breakout so we can talk talk about this so we did get one nice candle to close over bands are, are remaining open the next candle need to take out the confirmation candle if that's the confirmation candle we need to move above that candle that's our entrance the next candle doesn't do it then there's no trade Coming back in in search of the nine, there's no trade yet. And I don't like how lazy that band just got and cut through that, that candle. See how we act at the nine. Coming back in to the nine, and there's opportunities to be had on the way back down to the nine. Watching for an H buy type pattern. The only way we'll trade this is we need to take out that confirmation candle. So we need an H buy type pattern to go higher. We get that, we can look for a trade higher. Still no H buy pattern yet, no confirmation. Breaking back down, we still need a candle to close over this area. We could actually draw a line like this. We got an area where we can start to draw a little line like that and wait for a break of that line. For me, I still personally, I'm the conservative trader who wants that close above that area. See how we act here. We can see your nine rolling over, coming back, testing, getting it, trying to turn back up. And right there, we cleared it with good confirmation. That was great confirmation right there. Nice breakout to the upside. Nice breakout. See if we can continue to see follow through. All right, so and one thing about Friday is we would keep getting these big candles and we couldn't get the follow through on the bigger candles. So that was providing a lot of opportunities for me on Friday in the way that I was seeing things. Pay attention to little things like that. You know, very few big candles were we able to, to continue seeing a lot of the, the follow through. You know, we said a lot of that just chopped and a lot of big reversals. So just being a little careful here so far, the breakout's working. We want to come back in at this point. We did get a bearish Shirami. We're looking for more of a flag play or an H buy pattern to go higher. And there it is right there. There's your H buy pattern. Candle closed above, ripping higher. Very nice move. Uh, it took some some work to get the pattern to work to finally, you know, chopping around down here. It was putting in lower lows. Very difficult to trade. Uh, waiting for the right setup, getting a strong reversal. Just showing us momentum right there. Just had to let, you know, the moving averages catch up, formed our little goose head that we like to watch right there, which gave us a strong breakout. That candle closing to the upside, that gave us what? That give us a, a base to start that stair step higher. Then if you miss that, it's another opportunity right there. If you're trading the right assets, that provides great trades. 
Um, unfortunately, this video is just getting way too long uh, for everybody. So we're going to go ahead and cut it here. I hope you find this helpful. Please remember, discipline is the key to success in trading. Everybody's always trying to find something easy. You have to apply discipline to no matter you know what style you're trading. You, you know you need to apply discipline, and you apply discipline. Discipline can really improve your trading and improve your profitability. And I also hope to see you in the trading room.